Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The title of this particular prophetic word says someone saw your picture and desperately wants to talk to you. They desperately want to have a meeting with you. They desperately, they desperately want to meet up with you. They desperately want to talk with you. They desperately want to have a conversation with you. And this is with good intentions, okay? It's not with a negative intentions. It's with very good and positive intentions. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is faithful by whom we were called to the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. And the ways of God is not always the ways of man. Your divine helper, your kingdom spouse, your partner, when I'm talking about partner, I'm talking about in any domain, in any sphere, in any area of life, your, your employer, anybody around your life that God wants you to connect with or somebody that is going to help you get to your next level. I'm talking about what revolves around all of these people. I'm talking about anything that has to do with a great connection or a next level. God always has a way that he wants it to be. Most of the times we have in our minds how we want our lives to be. Most of the times we have in our minds how we want um, our, our connections to be probably like all I've mentioned, relationship, kingdom, spouse, jobs, and all that. But there are people who has who have met good people and to date they have an amazing lives because they met these particular people in the manner in which God wanted them to do. And that is one thing you must understand. That is one thing you must know. So one of the best things you can do in life is to let the Lord have his way, is to let the peace of the Lord be set forward. You notice that the world is becoming developed day, day by day. You notice that a lot of things are changing. Now, I'm not saying that I'm in support of a lot of things, but I'm saying that I'm not a judgmental person. So I believe that you can get connected anywhere and everywhere. Somebody has seen your picture now, social media is advancing. Social media is taking over the world. A lot of people have gotten married through social media. A lot of people have gotten jobs through social media. A lot of people have gotten um, a good like a good lifestyle, um, wealth. A lot of things are um, revolving around the social media. And as a matter of fact, if you really want to be successful in whatever you're doing, let's say you're doing a business, normally if you have a social media space in which that business is being advertised, in which people can better see that you can make better money than somebody who just has a location without a social media space. As a matter of fact, I've seen a lot of people who do not own shops, they don't have locations all they have is just a social media account and that's it some people have instagram accounts some people have facebook TikTok, um linkedin youtube to mention a few a lot of people have those accounts and they don't have an office they don't have shops people book them online and then everything goes well they make so much money so what is happening right now is that you've got to be updated. 
you know, in those days, you're going to be like, oh, so you just saw my picture and you want to talk to me. You want to reach out to me. No, honey. Now is the time where people's mindsets are open because a lot of things are done through social media. Now, am I saying that you go ahead or you go about and you're exposing yourself on social media, especially to people you don't know? No, that is not what I'm saying. There are a lot of people who are going to watch you. There are a lot of people who are going to see you. There are a lot of people who are going to just come across you somehow. Your picture can be seen by even somebody posting them. Or somebody sent me a message on Facebook and said, please, I'd like to connect you with a friend of mine who is a pastor. I was like, no, I don't, I'm, not in the, I'm not in the United States. I'm, I live in Dubai. And the person was like, no, it's okay. There's no problem about it. Um, in the kingdom of God, distance is not a barrier. Then I said, yes, but I did not follow up the connection because I wasn't interested. Okay, Brett, I did not pick any offense. I wasn't offenses, I, offensive. I don't know him. All the information he knows about me is maybe just, it's just seeing my picture on social media and that's all. Another person sent me a message and said, I have a friend who is very much interested in you. Now, I did not respond to that. Why? Because I wasn't interested. But what I'm saying is there are connections like that. If it's a place or if it's a position or if it's something that I'm interested in, of course, I'm definitely going to be like, okay, who's the friend? But I understood they connect the, the interest he was talking about already and the connection the other person was talking about. And if I was interested, I would have gone for it. There are people who have seen just my pictures and they want to talk to me. And that is it. Sometimes if you feel like, okay, I have a life out there, I'm not entangled or I can give a chance or I can have, then it's always good to meet people and talk to them. Am I going to ignore these people forever? No, I'm not going to ignore them forever or I'm not going to deny it. Why? Because people meet at various places, but at this point in time, what they want, I cannot give them. I want to pray for you that God will give you clarity and God to give you direction when they begin to come your way, when they begin to talk to you. Let the Lord give you clarity. Open your mind. Discern the right way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. This time, in the comment section, connect yourself, make that confession. Say, Lord, say, please give me clarity with the right people that come my way. In the name of Jesus, amen. There are Genuine people who are going to come you on social media more than even people you're seeing. So never judge people. All right. Please, if this has been of great help and blessings to you, I want to beg on your prayers. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you for subscribing now. May the Lord bless you. Keep your cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.